The killing of Ali Abdullah Saleh has plunged Yemen into even more uncertainty. The ousted president, who had been a dominant political force for over three decades, was killed in an attack led by Houthi fighters on Monday. Saleh had been in an alliance with the Iranian-backed rebels for more than two years, and his death sparked intense fighting on the streets of the capital, Sana'a. The clashes were ongoing the entire night until the morning. If someone stepped out into the street or fled, they would have a bullet hit them in the head, chest or body. An uneasy calm has returned to the city, which Saleh's forces and the Houthis jointly controlled and fought against the Saudi-led coalition, which supports the internationally recognized government led by Abdul Rabu Mansour Hadi. But the partnership collapsed last week, leading to major confrontations. After days of running street battles, Saleh announced he was ready for dialogue with the Saudi-led coalition if it ended its blockade of Yemen's ports and airports and allowed for more humanitarian aid. Shortly afterwards, he was dead. In response, Hadi has urged Yemenis to rise against the Houthi forces. I call upon all of you with an open heart and a strong will to turn a new page and to get rid of such a nightmare. Let's put our hands together to end the control of these criminal gangs and to build a new united Yemen. Saleh and the Houthis pushed out Hadi's government in January 2015 and set up their own administration, prompting the Saudi-led campaign against them. Since then, the country has been split between the Houthi rebels in the north, Hadi's administration in the south, and forces loyal to Saleh. His death could mark a turning point and risk the conflict getting worse, a conflict which has already killed nearly 10,000 people, pushed Yemen to the brink of mass starvation, and triggered what the United Nations has called the world's worst humanitarian crisis. We remind all parties to the conflict that deliberate attacks against civilians and against civilian and medical infrastructure are clear violations of international humanitarian law and may constitute war crimes. Saleh, a former military officer, became president of North Yemen in 1978 after a coup. And in 1990, when the North and South reunited, he was elected as the first president of the newly unified country. He was ousted in 2012 during the Arab Spring uprising, but managed to stay in the country and wielded considerable power behind the scenes. Saleh once likened his involvement in Yemeni politics as dancing on the head of snakes. And while it's not yet clear who will succeed him, or what his death will mean for the fighting on the ground or the future of Yemen, one thing appears certain. This nearly three-year war is unlikely to come to an end anytime soon. In Fiyaz Taib, Al Jazeera.